Alright guys, we're back for another episode of Project Hospital. It and I've been playing for a while because I was hoping I was going to try and save up the $90,000 to buy an ambulance, but it's totally not happening. Um, so what I decided I'm going to do instead is uh, buy and get another loan since I've paid off my loan. Yep, that guy's done. Delete that. What I've taken to doing is keeping these windows. Oh, he's still waiting for his shockwave lithotripsy. Hmm. Oops. Just did it exactly what I said I wasn't doing. I was keeping these open to track what's going on with the patients, the ones who haven't had everything done for them. But I accidentally deleted that guy's one. Alright, so I... Uh, Excuse me, we've got $20,000 <coughs> in the bank. And what I'm going to do is take a $90,000 loan and buy these. Oh, no, I, I just need a $60,000 loan. Purchase two more ambulances. And that's probably going to really screw us up because we've only got two resus bays. So if I get three ambulances at once, I'm in trouble. But I'm going to do it. So. Go to the bank. Take a $60,000 loan, yep. And then purchase the ambulances. Pretty sure I always go to purchasing ambulances incorrectly. Um, crap, I forgot how to rotate stuff again. Rotate. It's not that. Wait, I forgot how to rotate stuff. I can't place it like this. Rotate item. This one? Oh no, that's not what I want. Whoops, oh no. Now I'm just breaking stuff. Uh, I swear, what was that QW? Oh my goodness, I have to go to the menu. Sorry guys, having a total mental blank. employee limit to 600 Ooh. yeah let's do that hospital now accepts patients. yeah that's pop-ups that's not what I want keyboard controls okay rotate rotate is ah my goodness that's so weird I don't know if I've ever actually known that before we're gonna buy them oh yeah it is. Purchase three ambulances. Now we're going to get three. Oh, it's only. Yeah, it's three per day, so that could be a problem. Oof, that's $500 maintenance. That's expensive. Because the other thing I want to do is bulk up the staff of hematology, of um, the lab. Because if you see. Reach 80%. I have a new. Where is it? It's just five ambulances. Wow. Which one do I? This one? No, not this one. Treat 30 patients per day. It might be this one that I just did. Mm hmm. Oops, she's got chicken box. That's antivirals. Oops, I just did something I didn't want to do. Three ambulances, that's scary. Did he have an x-ray done? Why did he not have an x-ray done? No, oh, cancel that. He needs an x-ray, because that's going to be a long, wrong diagnosis way to happen. I've been neglecting my emergency patients. Oh, 
Okay. Fever, muscle pain, chills. Sleepiness. It's going to be influenza B, isn't it? Oh, they all have fatigue. Fatigue's a terrible headache, though. Cough? Well, that could be bronchopneumonia. Oh, okay. And sneezing. Great. There you go, see? Wait, why did she drop half a star? He's waiting for his x ray. Oh, yeah, so. On, let me just check this x ray first. Yep, there it is. Now it's an ankle fracture for sure. Probably was before, but anyway. Bursitis. Golfer's elbow. Right, so what we're going to do is staffing at the lab. We're going to buy a new lab technician to work on the... See, it says down the bottom of the screen, when I hover over the department, down here, it says workload day critical, workload night critical. And they're all, oh, no, actually, this one, micro, has no night workload and low. Low and night is critical, so I think I need a, at least a night shift person. So let's get a junior scientist for the night shift. What's this? Ugh, late, no thanks. She can be slow mover. There we go. Just bought a new staff member for pathology. Oops. I'm going to be in so much debt now, aren't I? I've just unbalanced my beautifully balanced hospital. Alright, it was golfer's elbow, guys. Close wrap. Discharge. Okay, it's going to be lactose intolerance. How do I get there? By finishing the abdominal palp palpation. X ray the upper limb. Brooke Rodriguez, the the surgical, what was she before? Surgical doctor has just upgraded to fellow. Alright, yep, that was lactose intolerance. A tidy $230. $400 for that one, Bursitis. Uh oh. I forgot to put the lady back in. No, she's there. She just went to the toilet. I went to the vending machine. <clears throat> yeah, ankle fracture. Oh, okay, so he does need a leg cast. Do it then. Vision test? Well, I haven't done a vision test on someone appropriately before. Ophthalmoscopy? He might have a fine body in his eye. What diagnoses? Chlorine gas poisoning. It won't be that because we haven't unlocked internal medicine yet. Oh, it's hay fever. Never mind. Alright, he's got a cast on his leg. He gave me a good chunk of money. And this guy has abdominal pain and fever. Still CRP. Don't need a, don't need a temperature. Probably gonna have to admit him for a blood test. 
no diarrhea. This guy's got a collarbone injury. And what sort of x-ray does that need? Oh, can I have a clavicle view on an x-ray? Crap, he's going to need a CT. Okay then. Don't complete his, that's going to slow me down a bit. Showed nothing, oh dear. Alright, what are we gonna do? Everything we can, where's the saturation? It's monitor. Let's see how that goes. He's got a headache. I've found out that nasal and oral cavity inspections for headaches are important because they tell you about sinusitis. Great, this guy needs a CT. Oh, x ray is not in use. Good, let's move her over to CT. Oh, excuse me, that one came out of nowhere. <clears throat> Normally I mute those. Okay, he's going to get his CT. But now he's got to walk to the ward first. Oh man, all those ambulances. They're going to bring me three patients at once, aren't they? I'm going to have to hastily build a... New recess room. Where am I going to build it? I guess right next to it. Okay. Is any of this land? No, it's not. I wonder what I was going to put here. Because this should have been here. Oh, the corridor! I think I didn't build it there because of the corridor, but yeah, definitely should have built it there. Sinusitis, see? Saline spray. And this one is having a whole bunch of tests to try and come up with something better than what we got. But I think he's going to end up being admitted to. I shouldn't be wasting my doctor time. Irritability and fatigue. Beach. He's this guy. Oh, that can investigate her. He's the hard one. What's this guy? $15? Did it come? I didn't hear the ding. Oh, it was celiac disease. Oh no, it didn't show anything. Alright, admit. <coughs> Stop wasting my ED doctor's time on this. Uh 
I should have prescribed her some NSAIDs. Too much time. Take the extra time to add all this, all these other treatments on. Money cost cost cutting. The health service is cost cutting by not offering you everything for all your symptoms. Oh, ultrasound. That's what I do for that dude. Where is he? Not that one. This one. Doing it fast. Does that show anything? Oh no, look at this one ambulance. And one of the resource bases in use. Oh, she's doing blood tests as well. And a microbial sampling. Holy cow, lady, calm down. Differential. Jenna 99 leveled up. He's now a fellow. Oh, we just completed another. What? I just did that. I just reached fellow. Why didn't that work? I don't know why I didn't achieve that achievement. Ooh, it's a trauma patient. She just dumped this guy as I just said. Oh, there we go. Woohoo! Three hundred thousand dollars. Let's pay off my sixty thousand dollar loan. Oh, that was nice. She just, I can't believe she's dumped this guy. Oh, we're gonna need an um, X-ray here once they finish treating him. let you guys know that complex fracture doesn't mean that your arm is dropping off like that that would be amputation complex fracture just means that the bone has broken through the skin okay I've got $260,000 now what can I do with that build a new department but we're going to do that in the next episode hey guys he's waiting for cardiovascular surgery can you like do that he's got dilated cardiomyopathy we're going to have to hurry the CT line up Just bring her to x-ray for now, and then go to, oops, go to this guy and ask for an upper limb x-ray. Uh oh, was there a ginormous queue of x-rays? Crap. Why is he having it? He's already got diagnosis. Oh, wait, is that him? Oh, that is him. Whoops. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, because he needs to be in the surgical department first. I'm going to wait for him to get back. And we can go. Oh, my gosh, what are they doing? There's an influenza bee that's wandered in while I'm doing this. Is there only one patient? Oh, no, there's another one here. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I should set this lady back to CT now that I've done that arm. Because I think I was waiting for his CT. Breathing problem. 
That's why I got done. Hey, why didn't she get? Where's she? Oh, because she's only near. Oh, there goes another one. She is being admitted to ICU. Oh, he's got myocarditis. He needs an admission. And some what? IV antibiotics. What else you got? Bronchodilators. Probably not the kind of breathing problems, right? Anti inflammatory cream. No. Cancel that. <laughs> you bronchodilators wouldn't work for myocarditis. And swelling limbs, anti inflammatory cream. Well, his arms are swelling because of fluid overload, not because of inflammation. So, anti inflammatory cream also wouldn't be useful. She's had cardiovascular surgery. Where's she coming back from? Wow, the cardiology HDU is very full. Exocrine pancreatic insufficiency. Wait, I wanna. I don't think it came back. Oh, he's going through CT. Let's see what we get out of. Face our dilators. Heavy infusion. Yep, he's had it. Let's see what we get out of this CT. Nothing. Nothing. I need something in histology. I'm going to put. Let's go. I'll put him in histology. He's on the break. He's bleeding. And this lady back to x ray. Judy Miller. Should start getting to learn my staff names. X ray lower limb when you get a chance, please. damaged. He won't need a CT angio. Oh, no. Yep, angiography. I mean, he's going to need, he's going to need surgery. Into surgical and request an ultrasound. And put him in HDU. Oh, he might already be HDU. Yep, there he is. They just left their trauma patient on the table. Good work. Okay, we'll just leave you here. The nurse on the next shift will come and get you. It's not bleeding all over the place now, at least. Yes, yeah, so he needs an orthopedic admission and a fractured leg surgery. 
What's she doing? A physical exam. And muscle and skin damage. Uh oh. Why is he collapsing? Pulmonary hypertension. He's already on vasodilators. I wonder how his O2 is. Put him on some pulse ox as well. Oh, they're rushing to us here. Mm -hmm. Why are they rushing from the cardiology doctor's unit? Shouldn't there be ICU doctors? It's defibrillation for no reason. Right. There's that little mushroom. <laughs> I need someone in histology. Microbiology, sorry. Put the kid in here. you waiting for a surgery Wait, these guys look the same I mean, he's got messy hair he's got a very tightly cut hair okay so we got two ambulances in one day that's fun I'm sitting on 246,000 bucks I have no idea what to spend it on. Hey, you can go for observation. Once you get that toenail clipping done. So, in a New South Wales hospital, the ambulances do not sit at the hospital. Once they have completed their job, they go to the, oh, this guy. didn't I do it, no, okay, yep, you can go to observation as well, is there two people waiting for a turnout, um, yeah, the ambulances are not attached to the hospital, they have their own ambulance station, and once they've dropped off their patient, they go back to station, usually they don't get a chance to go back to station, because they're too busy, too many jobs to do, they just move on to the next job. Miracles happened. Brooke Martin had campylobacteriosis. And I treated with IV antibiotics after I investigated her for everything. Mm, I need some ultrasound. But it looks like there's no ultrasound overnight. You know what? I'm going to put ultrasound on at night. Wait, is this the ultrasound? No, this is the ultrasound. Surgical has an ultrasound. Yep. Let's get a sonographer for night shift. Oh yeah, let's go for the cheap one. There he goes. Yeah, you know, someone's picking him up for an ultrasound. Alright, so now fungus. Antifungal ointment. Discharge. No, don't pin. That's what I did before. Yay, no time ultrasound, the best. No. 
Right, I'll put some of those stuff for no reason. Okay. Well, I've already done a CT. Peritonitis is pretty urgent. CRP? Oh, peritoneal fluid analysis. And then a microbial. How do I do peritoneal? This one. Also, CRP. Oh. Yo, sinusitis, cat five. Ow. Oh no. What do I do with him now? Forex oh, no. percussion is usually pretty good. not doing well. This guy is super sick. He's already defibrillated twice, he's gonna die. Three heart yeah. failures. Oh, yeah. He's already on all the treatment. All he could do is oxygen therapy, maybe. Got some ticks there. Fatigue, red eye. Let's do some of that. They get him back? Nope. There you go. He had his third. I mean, I don't know if oxygen therapy would have helped though. He was really sick, that guy. Sad. But there was actually nothing I could do for him. He was already being treated in. I treated him fully and he still couldn't do it. Uh oh, this guy. Needs shockwave with the. Oh, wait, there's an ultrasound person overnight now. And dude, why is he not admitted? This renal calculus. Uh oh. This one is also oh, maybe I need an angio because he might have a portal th vein or thrombosis. Is it night time? Yep. saved with an injury.
second. Oh, there's two resources. What is in this headache weakness? Is she having a stroke? She's mute. Patient can't talk. Aphasic. Okay, so he's got a fractured ulna. Now. Oh, they've already admitted him for HDU. There you go, cleared the resource bay. Okay, she's got a mandibular fracture. She's got atherosclerosis carotides. Built up inside the carotid arteries of the body, hardly narrowing them. Mm. The neurological tests didn't show nothing, but physical examination did. She needs thrombolytics and haste to you. Wow. It's insane. We've got four patients in haste to you. Oh, this guy, this lady's not dying now. I actually saved her life. Oh, clavicle lady's still here. Fractured humerus, fractured femur, fractured clavicle, fractured ulna. Is this HDU? Or is this the regular ward? HDU. There's one HDU, surgical HDU bed left. Itching, itching is the differentiator for athlete's foot. Well, we've got three ambulances. It has increased our resource load a bit, but luckily... Excuse me. Luckily... We can still manage with two resource bays, although I do have the money to treat more. To build another resource bay. So I'll just copy this one and move it here. But at the moment, I've got enough. The atherosclerosis. So, yep, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. It's been great having you as always, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.